This video is for families in the Pulaski County Special School District who have students that will be virtual and needing to do this map assessment remotely from their homes. So what is map growth? Map growth is an assessment that lets the teacher know what the child is ready to learn. It is not a grade. The test is computer adaptive. If a child answers a question correctly, the next question is more challenging. If they answer incorrectly, the next one is easier. This type of assessment challenges top performers while also not overloading or overwhelming students whose skills may be below grade level. Who takes this assessment in our district? Map growth assessment is given to students in grades 3 through 12. What is needed to test? Students need their district issued Chromebook. It needs to be charged and plugged in if possible. They will need internet access to take the test, approximately 30 to 60 minutes per assessment, and then lastly, they will need the session name and password that will be given to them by the classroom teacher. Students will log into their Chromebook like they normally do using their district credentials, and then they will open a Chrome window for testing. After students successfully log in, they will see their portal, Students will also be logged into a Zoom or Google Meet session with their school test administrator so they can be monitored during testing. The student will receive a link inviting them to the monitoring session. They will also be able to utilize the chat feature to communicate with the test administrator should any technical issues arise during the assessment. The MAP website is test.mapnwea.org. Students will need a session name and password that will be provided by the teacher. They will need to be typed in exactly as it's been received. On the screen, you see an example. This session would be 4M Jones, and the session password was AS765. Once the student enters the username and password for the session, they will get a screen where they have to choose their name from a drop down list. The student will choose their name. The test will automatically populate since the teacher has picked it in advance. The third screen is the confirmation screen for the student. The student will be asked to confirm their information on the screen. If the student has accidentally picked the wrong name, they would click no, which will take them back to the initial login page, and they will start the login process over. Students are not able to take the test until the teacher confirms them on their side. Once the teacher has confirmed the student on their side, the students will see the following screen. You are confirmed to start the test, and there is a blue Start Test button. A tip, if internet connection is slow during the test, students need to make sure they are the only ones on the internet in the home during the assessment. Once the student has submitted the test, they will receive a report, confirmation. The student will let the test administrator know that they have finished the assessment. They will be able to do this via the chat feature. The teacher will confirm on their side that the student has indeed finished the assessment and then dismiss the student from the testing session. Some map growth tips. During math sessions, math tools may appear if they are needed for solving the problem. For instance, if it is a measurement problem, a ruler may come up on the screen for the student to use. A calculator appears on questions that students are allowed to use a calculator on. All math questions do not have a calculator as MAP does not want students using a calculator on all questions. For problems that have choices that must be moved on the screen, you must click the answer you want and then click where you want it to go. You cannot drag it. It's more of a click and pop. If you are kicked out of a test or if the test freezes, you might have an internet issue. Make sure others in the home are not utilizing the internet for the duration of the test. Lastly, Contact information. If you are experiencing issues while testing, contact the child's teacher or test administrator by utilizing the chat feature in the online session. If that does not work, please contact the student's school directly and we will get you the assistance that you need.